Hey fellas, how's it going? Jeff here. Got a few uh, traditional knives I was going to show you guys today. thought you guys might be interested in. This is the Great Eastern Cutlery, the uh, 77 pattern. I have this in a Warren Cliff here. Really nice swedge going on there. This one stag. Um, can't remember if it's burnt or natural. It might be the burnt stag. Really nice though. Early flush back spring there. Nice walk and talk too. These um, these have a little bit of a, a stiffer pull than the 15s or the TC Barlows. Which I kind of like. These are probably on. Well, maybe about a 7. They just really fit the hand well too. You can get. I well I can get a definite uh, four finger grip on them. To like tip on these I mean it's it's a definite splinter picker there for sure and these uh these have come pretty sharp right out of box too I'm, I've been pretty impressed with the, the sharpness of them the stag air is really nice pretty knobby these definitely fit my hand a little bit better I wear probably a large glove um, yeah, the fit and finish on these is amazing. Um, I have this one here. Let's see if I can get the, uh, the name of the, um, the covers right. It's Smooth Autumn Gold Bone, I believe. That's another Warren Cliff. Really nice. A little bit unique it's a prototype so i don't think there's a whole lot of these ones floating around out there really nice really consistent in the, these two the blade centering right down the middle transitions not too bad pretty good These um uh, these are probably um some of my uh favorite knives. So I'm probably uh if I do choose to use one it's probably going to be the uh the stag one that my, I'll, I'll probably give these to my my kids. They're just really nice, something to pass down, keep them nice. Um the last one, the most recent one I got was um in the smooth this is smooth ivory bone. And these weren't these were uh, released. They it hasn't been too long, but it's pretty hard to find them now. I'm a little bit different. It's got the spear point on it. Nice little swedge going on there. absolute gorgeous knives uh they really i i think they really did a good job on these they just really fit the hand well i mean compared to the uh to my tcs they're, they're smaller they're excellent knives but it's a little bit smaller this one's in um this is a walnut covers on these And this one, I have another one in, what is it, Amber Jig Bone, I think. And it's pull weight's a little, it's it's lighter than this one. That blade centering on that one, right down the middle. These 15s and the 77s are just, they're some of my favorites. They're just absolutely amazing. There's the yellow jacket flying around. Hope it don't get stung. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you, um, you guys these. Um, I've seen 
some 77 videos on uh, YouTube, but I haven't really seen any of the just the straight Warren clips. So thought you guys might find that interesting. These are in 1095, of course. Um, what I'm carrying today is, of course, the old Scout and the natural linen micarta. Absolutely love this knife too. It's it's always in my pocket. I accidentally dropped it the other day and fell on the concrete and hit that top bolster there. A couple nicks in it, but <clears throat> it's all right. It's a user. Still solid. And my main blade today is this little guy. Not little, but this is the large 21, the Micarta. Probably, um, this is probably my favorite Sabenza here. I do like the inlays, more so than just the plain tie. It really gives the, uh, the handle a little bit more, uh, you get a little bit more substantial grip on it. Just really feels the hand nice. Super nice knife. So it's hard to beat a Chris Reeve. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys these 77s and get another video out. I appreciate you guys watching. I've been getting a lot of nice comments and trying to get some more videos out. So you guys have a nice Sunday. I'll talk to you all later.